here's a, a ghetto's web. I done a video on uh, the tree saddle not too long ago, and uh, this is the same concept, but I figured the ghetto's web's a little bit more comfortable, packs a little bit better, it's heavier. Same concept, except it does have this V-bar. I'm not really decided whether I like the V-bar or not. Uh, I'm going to probably get some kind of other um, saddle that goes across here because of uh, this is just off the tree saddle here. But uh, this bridge thing doesn't really work for this one. Uh, this is a lone wolf hand climber. We're using it for a foot climber. We're trying to just cut down on the weight and what you got to carry out in the woods. Uh, this seems to be really safe as far as, you know, falling from the tree. I don't really see any way that you could fall. Uh, maybe, uh, Twisting you around and getting scared a little bit, but I think it will uh, work out once we get the um, what we're doing down good with a little practice. And like I said, this is the first time out doing this with this, so I'm not real good at it. But the concept is we use the hand climber as a base. A couple other people on YouTube is doing that. Uh, this is the lineman's belt we just wrapped around the tree, using it just to cinch around the tree, and then this quick adjustment. You stand up on the on the uh, hand climber, pull this tight, put your weight down on it. Uh, you can't really, I've noticed you can't really put your weight up against the V-bar, it gets you too close to the tree, so you just kind of bury your knees into the tree. Alright, kind of got this adjusted too loose too, so it's kind of leaning out too far. Then you just pull it up again, put your hands up against the tree, climb. I'm getting about three climbs out of every adjustment on this on this like I said I'm not graceful this is the first time with some practice I'm sure it'll get easier it saves a lot of weight seems like once you get them up in the tree the tree saddle is really comfortable this is supposed to be more comfortable than the tree saddle. I haven't really made up my mind yet on that. Um, like I said, I haven't got the, the hand climber adjusted just right, but what's nice about these two is you're just using that for a standing base so if it's leaning out it don't feel unsafe or anything but uh this b bar does seem like it's kind of comfortable i mean you just sit up against the tree with the b bar uh we're kind of doing an odd thing this year we're trying turkey hunting from tree stands Seems like you can get a lot better view and everything of what's going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to try this tomorrow morning or not. Um, like I said, this is my first time trying this. I have been playing with it a little bit as my cameraman sleeps. <laughs> but uh, coming down is easier. Um, Just disengage the hand climber, and then you just pull this release. 
kind of neat about that is if for some reason you was falling and you let go of that quick release, it catches back a hold. Coming down is a lot easier than going up. But like I said, hopefully um, with some practice, everything will get easier. Uh, the tree saddle seems like it's more uh, uh, simple and easier to, uh, you know, hunt from. This has a lot of adjustments, a lot of straps. But I think, you know, it's just learning it. Once I get used to it, I think I'll like it. It's a little heavier than the tree saddle, but it's kind of got like a built-in backpack. Um, this hand climber, it don't pack into the saddle real well, but this, it just drops right in it like it's made to go with it. Um, a guy on a, I believe it's Archery Talk, makes a bridge that uh, kind of gets rid of that so you have more room to shoot with uh, the original safety belt that comes with the kiddo's web. It has two straps that comes out here which it feels more stable and comfortable. But as far as like shooting, uh, this gives you more room. Like I said, I'm not sure, you know, I would have to uh, get that thing the guy, that other guy made, it would probably be a little bit better than this. Got these uh, uh, what do you call these Sean? A lineman's belt? Uh, carabiner? Yeah, it's got these carabiners. So I'm sure the carabiners aren't gonna break, but um I'm kinda not using them the way they should be used. But they got like a two or three thousand pound rating, so I'm sure. I'm not that bad. I'm bad, but not that bad. But like I said, coming down is a lot easier. And I mean, you could fall, but there's a limit to how far you're going to fall with the tree saddle. If you did fall, you're just going to hit the tree. What kind of worries me about this is, is that B bar. There is a possibility you can stab your leg with the B bar if you did start to fall any distance. And like I said, this does seem more complicated than the tree saddle. But when we started using the tree saddle, it was kind of a new experience too. But this ghetto hub has a lot more straps and a lot more adjustments, but I think it's um, like on the other side, uh, you can't see it on this side, but it's got a strap right here for your back rest. You can adjust how it leans back. Um, you could lean back like this, like I said. I, don't have that set up right. Um, so there it is, tighter and tighter. So, and then, you know, like I said, if I got that bridge from that one guy on Archery Talk, this would probably work better. But the noise you heard was just these carabiners slipping around. Probably made my eyes big, but was not really going to go anywhere. Um, like I said, this ain't the setup we're going to be hunting with. It's just, you know, trying it out for the first time. See what we like and see how it climbs. Um, like I said, it it is kind of nice because it's a lot lighter than the regular traditional tree sand. A lot more compact. Uh, you don't have a big silhouette as much as a normal tree stand hanging away from the tree. I thought I would like this B-bar because it keeps your knees away from the tree. I mean, it 
it actually doesn't keep them totally away from the tree, but it on the tree side of you uh, either wear knee pads or bury your knees into the tree, which isn't that bad for a short time period, but you know, three, four, five hours in a tree, you know, your knees do get uncomfortable. One of the things they advertise on this is is you know you can stay more you know quiet and not move around as much because of comfort it does seem like it's fairly comfortable you just have to try it out and learn it and that's about it thanks for watching the video